Welcome back to RBD Block Challenge. I'm Cindy Cloward, and today we are working on block number 14. It's called Mountain Peaks, and it's designed by Melissa Mortensen. This is what it looks like in boutiques, and this is what it looks like in our confetti cotton solid fabrics. It's a beautiful block, a new spin on a pinwheel. I just really enjoyed making this block, and it's super simple too. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is download the pattern from our Riley Blake Designs website and cut out all your pieces. Mine are all cut out and we are strip piecing this so it's going to come together so easily. So I'm gonna put on my glasses and the first thing it tells you to do in the pattern is strip piece all of these long strips. So I'm gonna start with my F and C and just do one strip at a time. Now, if you find it helpful to pin, go ahead and pin. I find it very helpful to press. Gets out all your wrinkles. And then it makes your fabrics adhere to one of the others. So let me line that up a little bit better. Okay. Let's go sew. I'm going to take it to my pressing station, open up press to the pink side. And with it, each addition, I'm just going to add one piece at a time. Oh, let's make sure that's pressed. This is slightly more peachy pink. Line that up. Again, you can pin press, whatever works for you. Okay, let's press this last strip. Now, you can certainly do these in section, like three strips at a time and two strips at a time. And sometimes that helps you Keep everything really easy and accurate. And once you'd sew those two strips, you'd sew them to the three. But I tried it just one strip at a time and that worked out pretty well for me this time. So I think whatever works for you, works for you. Okay, so it should measure five and a half inches. So measure that. And if I give it a little tug, it's right on. So just if it's short of that, check your seam allowance and make sure you have an accurate fourth inch seam allowance. Now we're gonna trim up to three inches, not three and a half, three inches. So I'm just gonna trim the end off here because a couple are a little bit longer. And we're gonna cut three inch strips. Okay, that is cut. This is our extra scrap and we're ready to make our mountains. So these are gonna be colorful mountains and we take our A squares and you're gonna need two for each one of these beautiful rectangles, fabrics that we just created and we're gonna mark them corner to corner. I'm just gonna mark one, cause I'm gonna use my Seam So Easy guide on the other. We're gonna sew, and this is gonna be our sew line. We're gonna sew on this side to this side, and then I'll, we're gonna make kind of a flying geese out of these rainbow fabrics underneath. 
and from that side to that side. So we'll just do one side at a time. And instead of flying geese, they are going to be mountains. And when I sew on this, I sew just a hair to the outside. When I open up that square, it'll just be a little more perfect. Because sometimes when you sew directly on the line, it comes up a little bit short when you flip and turn. in between. And before we take it to our pressing station, we're going to trim. Just, just double check that that flips back just the way we want it. I'm going to put that over there. Now we can trim down to a fourth an inch. Okay, let's go press these open. Looking good. Just want to complete that rectangle. I'm going to let that cool underneath my clapper. Okay, looking good. Now, if you've already marked your squares, you just put that on the top. That's going to be our sew line. Let's finish these units up. Bring them back. Take a look. Looking good, perfect. Okay, let's go give them a good press. seams. That's what we want to see, a nice fourth an inch from the top of our fabrics. Okay, let's take these back to my cutting station and just take a look and make sure they should measure five and a half inches and that tip should really be down right at a quarter inch and that's perfect. So you can just give a quick look at all of these. They are good to go. Okay, great. So now we just need to take our B squares and the B squares are going to be in front of our mountains. So they can all be assembled the same. We're just going to flip that over. And we're going to be stitching. Make sure eh, you can always throw a pin in. I'm going to be stitching that way. Actually, when I stitch these, I like to stitch on the point side. So as I'm stitching down, I can make sure I'm not sewing into my point. So I'm going to flip them over like that. Okay, let's take the machine and sew. And as you're going over that point, you can just see I'm not sewing into that point.
Okay, let's take it to our pressing station. We can clip our threads over here. Oh, missed it. When we press open, oh, I think it wants to go that way. And this is exactly what we want to see. The point is just right at the edge, but it's not cut off. Okay, once these are ready to go, we're ready to put them in our pinwheel pattern. So it looks like that. Just follow along, but it's a traditional pinwheel pattern. That way and that way. Now you just have a four patch to assemble. Okay, that is good to go. We're gonna flip that over there. Flip that over there. You can choose to pin, I'm just gonna pin at the top. And actually those uh, seams at the bottom and the top. So I'm going to put the bottom lock into place. So make sure you lock those into place. So the bottom and the top of your block here, that just locks right in to place. Those seams just nest so nicely. Okay, let's go sew. Okay, take it to your pressing station. You do not have to clip in between the seams. I'll help them hold in place. Take a look, press your seams one direction. That's, let's see, that's going that way. So we want those to go that way. So this last seam just nest it. This mountain piece likes to lay that direction, so it just kind of naturally falls that way, and I just press it that way. There's a lot of bulk right there. So just pin it and just ease your machine over that bulk. Do our two ends. Okay, let's go sew our last seam. All right, let's press our last seam. It's the big reveal. Let's open it up. Take a look. Oh, doesn't that look amazing? What a colorful pinwheel. And look how all of our seams meet in the middle. It's quite bulky here. You can open up that seam like we've shown before to reduce the bulk and still have your seams lie flat one direction or the other. So you can just kind of, oh, I got a pin right there. Yeah, just open that up. Pinwheel that bulky seam in the middle. Just kind of flatten that out and that makes it nice and flat. I just have a little Rogue thread right there. Oh, that's looking so good. The last thing we need to do is square up our block. Take a look. So we'll get a 10 and a half inch ruler. 
We just line up those lines of our pinwheel. And it looks great. I don't have to square up or trim at all. And the Mountain Peaks quilt block is finished. What a fun block by Melissa Mortensen. It'll be fun to see what she creates out of her own block. Join me next time for block number 15, Playing With Blocks by Jerry Robinson. Mm -hmm.